Welcome to this tutorial where we'll master the art of combining text in Excel using the text join function. This feature, available in Excel 2016 and later versions, allows you to effortlessly merge text strings from multiple cells with a delimiter of your choice. The text join function is a powerful tool for text manipulation, enabling you to join together strings of text from various cells. It's particularly useful for creating unified text outputs from disparate data sources. Syntax of the TEXTJOIN function. Let's delve into the syntax of the text join function, which is structured as equals text join, delimiter, ignore underscore empty, text 1, text 2. Understanding each component of this syntax is key to leveraging its full capabilities. The delimiter argument is essential as it defines the character or string used to separate the concatenated text. This can be anything from a simple comma to a more complex string, depending on your needs. The ignore underscore empty argument is a boolean that determines whether the function should skip over empty cells in your range when performing the concatenation. Setting this to true will result in a cleaner, more refined output. The text one foot, text two feet are the actual text strings you wish to combine. These can be direct cell references, hard-coded text strings, or even the results of other functions, offering you flexibility in how you construct your text. For our first example, we'll look at a straightforward concatenation. Equals text join, comma, true, b1, c1, d1. This formula will concatenate the contents of cells b1, c1, and d1, separated by commas, while ignoring any empty cells. When you need a more complex delimiter, such as an email address, you can use an array constant within the text join function like this. Equals text join, and, dot, true, a1, c1. Which creates a properly formatted email string. Combining text from multiple cell ranges can be achieved with a formula like. Equals text join, true, a1, a4, b1, b4. This example uses a double dash as a delimiter, showing how to merge text from two different ranges. If you want the TEXTJOIN function to include empty cells in the output, set the ignore underscore empty argument to false, as in this formula. Equals text join false A1 C1. This will ensure that all cells, regardless of content, are included in the concatenation. We'll also explore more advanced uses of the text join function such as removing numeric characters from an alphanumeric string, or stripping non-numeric characters from a cell, demonstrating the versatility of this function for various text manipulation tasks. Congratulations on completing this tutorial on the text join function. You've gained valuable skills for text manipulation in Excel, allowing you to create clean, concise outputs from multiple data points. Thanks for watching this tutorial on the Excel text join function. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips, tricks, and in-depth guides to supercharge your spreadsheet skills.